At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. So over the next 30 minutes, I'd like to try and contemplate what are the changes, what are the main changes brought about by the fundamental review of the trading book? But also ask the question, does the changes in the fundamental review of the trading book, will they bring the amount of capital that banks required closer to the risk that they actually run? Or make it worse and, and make the capital not reflect the risk that they are actually running? So what is a summary, what are the key points about the fundamental review of the trading book? The first thing is there are tighter rules governing the boundary between what can be assessed as a trading asset and what can be put into the banking book. Gone are the days where it's just, I have some sort of vague intent at some point of trading it. Right? And tighter rules are put in place to determine Okay, so let's just try and focus in on the internal models, the expected shortfall, and VAR. And I want to try and start by saying, first of all, what VAR is, for those of you who are not familiar with it, and why it's gone out of favour. So VAR is a risk measure. VAR, value at risk, is an estimate with a given degree of confidence of how much you can lose in your portfolio on a given time horizon. And the, in regulatory capital, they set that time. Now, I'm usually fairly sort of immune to the thinking as of academics and just really want to be able to say, well, OK, that's all right, but uh, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. So as part of the push for this change to expected shortfall has come from this academic environment. So now I've got to tell you what expected shortfall is about. So again, this is saying that the amount of calculations that you're going to have to do will be an awful lot higher. The operational cost of implementing this is going to be high. So what are going to be the impact of these changes? Well, as I said, we're going to move to a more academically rigorous measure, which is going to actually capture the risk a bit better but it's been significantly distorted by the Basel Commission. What role has changing accounting practice, including the concept of XVA, had on the fundamental review of the trading book? So the XVAs are really accounting pushes to try and better understand fair value of transactions. So they're things that like this.